Hi guys, I'm Danny from My Flying Eyes, and today I'm going to share with you some questions that probably all of us have had at least once. So number one, we know that a flat train calibration is highly recommended before every flight. But how can you do it when you're in a place like this? Like this? This? Or anywhere out in the field with no flat surface to trust. So number two, how can we always have a clean takeoff without the propellers getting all the dust, sand or debris up in the air and probably into the motors or the sensors that can cause a failure or future problems. Number three, how can we always have a smooth landing when some drones like the one I use do not have a smooth landing, in fact drops from one to two feet straight into hard hitting the ground while this over and over landing after landing would untie the screws a little bit which leads to video problems like shaky image or that awful jello effect that we all hate and I experienced that myself and I can guarantee it's not fun when you find out that your best takes, your best moments up in the air got ruined by jello. Ugh, disgusting. So number four, how can we always have a safe landing surface? Well this is essential for those drones with expensive cameras hanging below with no protection at all and every uneven surface or even a small stone would damage the camera when landing. On the other hand for some other drones like the one I use Sometimes the sensors do not recognize when you're already on the ground and the propellers keep running and running creating all that mess until you have to disconnect your remote control or do some other emergency procedure to stop the drone. I saw some folks out there that they just put the drone to hover around and while one hand is manipulating the controls they go with the other hand and grab the drone from below or by a leg and then while holding the drone they have to manage to stop the drone with the other hand. Well, I'm a professional piano player, I'm not doing that. So that's out of my options for being insanely dangerous and you might not be a piano player but I'm pretty sure that you value your hands with every finger as much as I do. Just think of it. A small mistake or a sudden wind would end up in total disaster and you might say well I've done this like a hundred times and nothing happened but just remember it takes once for a lifetime regret and this is funny one of the drone gurus that I respect and I follow the most he said well I do this but don't do it because it's very dangerous that doesn't make any sense it is dangerous don't do it either <laughs> so come with me and I share with you one simple solution that gets to all of these problems and probably many more all at once. we end up calling the DSP, Drone Smart Port, which is a non-metallic flat surface with two non-metallic bubble levels on the side attached to a pillow filled with packaging peanuts or it could be beans or rice or of course uncooked, please. So this is how it works. I like this spot for being my takeoff because it's a safe return to home route for one gun D operating. So we just, uh, it doesn't matter that this, this surface anymore. So we just put the DSP here, we adapt it with the bubble levels until it's perfectly flat, which I kind of already did. 
So then we just put the drone flat string calibration and ready to take off and have fun. Voila! <laughs>